perfect. And we're gonna do the same thing with the ground. So I'm just gonna quickly tin that wire here. For the VRX, we are going to be using a, in this case, orange wire. So we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, actually, we're gonna keep this wire a little longer because you don't know how long you're gonna need it for later. And just strip it as we have been doing. And in the process, I think I'll go ahead and grab different wires too. So let's take a yellow and a green, cool. Again, same thing, cut, cut, strip, strip. Okay, now that we have all of our wired connections done, we're gonna go ahead and give them a healthy heap of hot glue to make sure that they are nice and insulated from the rest of the bad boy. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna go ahead and get ready to put it in. So first you're gonna actually have to put in the mini joystick so that it slides into place. I might take a, take a little bit of a push, but that guy fits in right like that. I like to try and align the little, little pin up because it kind of fits like right like that in there. And then we're gonna take our, our, our joystick wire and just go ahead and insert it into the proper place. So the key is to make sure that this is nice and secure. You don't want to over screw these guys because um, that can happen and then you strip it and it's just completely useless. And you don't want to strip your very expensive, time consuming 3D print. So I highly recommend that you uh, use the appropriate amount of force and the appropriate screws for the job so that everything is happy. It's a happy little camper. Perfect. So. You have a mess of wires, and that's okay, because we don't want to focus on that right now. We're going to hide all these away, like a dirty, dirty um, individual. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your black wire. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to carefully reach in here and apply heat in a liberal fashion. Not in a Republican fashion, mind you. Uh, noodles. What's wrong? Now what we're going to do is we're going to obviously wire in our joystick, our big joystick. So this is kind of a big-ish deal. So you have two joystick options, obviously, before uh, in the instructions you'll kind of notice that you have two. One is pretty cheap. This is the cheap one. It's cheap because it uses two potentiometers to calculate the position of the joystick at all times. It's cheap also because, let's say I go to a corner there's a ton of resistance on this corner. The resistance comes from an internal spring. There's no way around this really. It's, it's, if you want it to spring back, you have to have a spring. There's a reason that these are like 15 bucks and this is like 120. So this is the wiring for the cheap joystick. I'm not really gonna show it to you like in depth, but essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna take hot, hot, ground, ground, and you're gonna wire them together. It's very simple to understand, and if people are still have questions about it, I'll do another video later. It's not a huge deal. Um, there's a third potentiometer inside this joystick. You potentially will use it. You potentially will not, depending on if you want to use the small joystick as your roll or if you want to use this as your roll. The small joystick's wiring is identical. Red to red, black to black, all right? And then you have the spare wire out the side, which is your data. So there are three data wires that leave each joystick. In this case, they're wired the same, green, blue, and yellow. And you're gonna have two uh, power wires that leave, which is red and black, so five volt and ground. Cool. Same thing goes for this. I highly recommend these joysticks, again, over that one. It's gonna be a little extra money, but in the long term, these things are so much smoother. There is no resistance on any side that you move it. It's exactly the same no matter what, and it's, it's very high quality. I would totally recommend these joysticks. You can find them at eBay for as little as 40 or as high as 120. It depends on where you get it and when you get it. If you get lucky, hopefully you will. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna actually just go ahead and cut that off, because we don't need it. 
and we're going to take all these wires out and we're going to look at them and admire them because they're so beautiful. Now that you have your joystick, you're going to go ahead and you're going to unscrew these four screws that come with it. One that I'm used to. That's kind of annoying, but we'll deal. All right, so I'm going to wire this up so that when you point uh, backwards, it brings the gimbal down. So it's, it's like an Xbox controller style instead of airplane flying style. So now that we have our joystick in place, we're going to go ahead and test it, give it a wiggle around, make sure it all falls back into place like so. This one does. <laughs> 